Hello, people. This is the Indigo Experiment. Welcome back to more Okami. Last time, we helped Susano destroy this giant boulder. This time, we are going to venture out outside of Kamiki Village. Now, there are still animals to feed and treasure chests to get here. But, well, I think that I'm going to see... See, to sell... I'm going to sell the, um, little treasures that I get. Or that I already have. So, let's see. Hmm... You know what, I think I'm going to see if I can get up to 75,000, or 7,500, I'm sorry, I was off by an entire order of magnitude. See down there, I forgot to get those. That's a radish, in case, in case you're wondering. This here... Um, although I think in one case there's two of them. Now, there, yes, there is 13 and not 12. Essentially... <sighs> ah, this is perfect. Oh, hey, this is really perfect! I'm going to buy five of each kind of, um, feed bag. Although you don't really need much fish until later. And all of this stuff, I'm gonna leave it be. So, in any case, let's just move outside of the village. Yeah, there are 13. The cat normally, it depends on where you are, because I think that, I believe that the cat and the rat, maybe I should do the research first, because really, I just, yeah, anyway. Welcome to Shinshu Field. This is, you know, Isun's explaining it, except that, yeah. Basically, it's very dark here. Things have happened to the landscape. And these things aren't exactly happy, or, you know, good. Whoa, what the- No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's too thick. Yep, it's been cursed, so... I have nothing to- Yes, the... this is- this has already been established. We have to revive the saplings. This is basically our main quest. That thing right there, that's a demon scroll. It is essentially a random encounter. I'm going to run past it. Because really they're annoying and not worth it. Right here, running into the cursed zone, like, yeah. Basically, you can't go in cursed zones. It will eventually, well, kill you. Well, not really kill you, but you get, you just get dropped out outside it. So, you know what? I think I'm going to look at the tree close up. Oh, hey. Hello. Yes, it's... yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Essentially... Oh, hey, it's not here. Usually there's a treasure chest back here, but I guess it's not there before, um... The thing happens. So, oh, look at that, the sun's starting to set. That's, that's actually really good, that's perfect timing, because there are things there that I would not be able to find unless the sun had set. Hello. Yes. No. So from the lake, that might be, um, that, mi that might be useful information. All right. Huh. Yeah. Yes, what is it? Nature buddy. I'm your nature buddy. I am your nature buddy. Yay, it's an ancient Japanese hippie. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna die. We should go check it out. See if... See, hope, hope he's okay. And if he's not, then I guess, um... I guess there's not much I can do about that. Although I guess I could try rejuvenation. Can rejuvenation be used to fill in wounds? I don't even know. I'm going to save right here. Anyway. Let's move on up. So, first obvious treasure chest. This place does not look very happy. It looks kind of... It looks like a next-gen game. Except with, you know... I like this. It looks like... Oh, wait, I never finished exper uh, explaining Godhood. Oh, well, I guess I'll, I'll be able to do it a bit later. So, over here... See, I'm always a bit confused as to exactly what level of reality the enemies exist in. All right, let's just, um... There. 
Okay, um, there we go. As for you, thank you. I'm going to run around and get some ink back. Oh, yeah, anyway, my godhood just saved me a, um, well, from that hit. I was not being very careful. So, oh no, I didn't do a floral finisher on that guy. Oh, well, it doesn't matter much. Only lost one demon fang, or lost the opportunity to get one demon fang. So, basically there are three levels of- or five, I guess, technically. You know, no godhood at all, red, yellow, and green. For the num- you know, red is, saves you from one hit, yellow from two, and green from three. Loosh. But, um, but there's also one if you run away from fights, which is possible with demon scrolls. Um. But not possible with scripted fights like this. <clears throat> well, essentially, you end up that that's a cursed tree, I think. Essentially, well, you will end up with a skull and crossbones, I think. I don't really know what it looks like, but it has bones in it. So and it you get extra damage from it. You get um, levels of Godhood from Traveler's Charms and from, um... <sighs> Combos. Yeah, that, that only- that word only took me several seconds to figure out. Anyway, Curse Trees. Now, whenever a projectile is thrown at you, you can reflect it back with a Power Slash. Easton will tell you this if you let it land. Yes, I did. It's wearing taste of its own medicine. Essentially, you don't really need to do this for every tree. Just keep running and, you know, won't, it won't um, hit you. So, moving right along... Let's see what's over here. I... Okay, um... Are you going to throw something at me? Alright. Fair enough. There is actually something over there, but I'm going to get it on the way back out. So! Um, I, I honestly have no idea what to say about this. Hey, it's Susano. Hey, it's nighttime. On the way back out, we're going to see something in the nighttime, which, well, we wouldn't before. It's still possible to get it, but, well, it's stupid. This is a yellow imp. You may be noticing a pattern. So essentially, yellow imps grow underground, meaning that you can't kill them at the start of a fight. You're gonna have to wait for them. So I'm going to use this time to get rid of his cronies. So, there we go. Very, very nice, floral finished. So essentially, he's going to come up, but if he, he doesn't see you, then, well, you can just do that. So, he's going to now use this as a cannon, which I, it didn't hit. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Where is he? Okay, good. I didn't hit him again. If you hit him even one time too many, then he can't do a floral finisher. I don't know why. I think it's a stupid thing. But it's, it's there. So that's the thing. Anyway, yellow imps are pretty fun, although they do tend to delay battles. <laughs> so hi. Yes, yeah, Ami does have a bum hole. No, it's not a big deal. Just uh, my throat hurts. <clears throat> I think that after this video, I'm probably going to stop and take a break because. Really? Huh? Best facial expression. Or, well, not really. See, the characters in this game are not very expressive because they don't really have mouths. Except for Ami, but even then, Ami's eyes never change. Ami Ami's just not that expressive. And yet she still manages to kind of be expressive. Hmm. In other words, clue bat. So. We have rays of sunlight, but no sun, so let's draw it in there. This is, I think, the only time when you can draw a sun that's not in the sky. But... Hmm. 
Well, it's good that Susana got out of the way, because otherwise you probably would have gotten badly injured. Oh, look! Relatively impressive smoke effects for him. This game. Oh, come on, dude. You, I know what you think. You know what you think. Everyone knows what you think. So get over it. Oh, what? It's daytime? Oh, well. Maybe I'll come back later. Or maybe I'll just dig around until I find it. But that would be stupid. Plus, I don't want to waste your time by waiting for nightfall again. Or by just digging for no reason. <clears throat> well, let's go see. So right here, this is... Ew. Really, ew. This is... And, hey, look, the save mirror. I might as well just... You know, save. Okay, moving right along. Let's go to this room where we find... Uh, Roar! Aww. It's so cute. It's so cute! I don't know. Ami is adorable. I want to cuddle her. So, this thing is known in mythology as Totoro. He is um, a form of guardian of the forest, I believe. I, I have no idea. I might be getting this entirely wrong. I probably am. But, essentially, yes, things. All right, yes, go ahead. Murder this bear for no reason. Susano style, Susano! And now, well, we're gonna have to help him out again to make him feel better, I guess, even though he's injuring an innocent bear. What are you doing? Y this isn't even... This isn't even... Th like, the... Why did you do that? If you think you're in a battle... Look, you're just trying to show off. To East... I don't know. Luckily... Um, I... Yeah, it's still breathing. It's not even wounded. Why did you even do that? You just hurt an innocent bear. But, more importantly, now we have the ball that the bear was balancing on. This is actually important. Hello? You do know we already heard everything what you, that you said? Well, you know... I hate the... I always had issues with that. Flappy ears! Flappy ears! You know, the idea that, you know... You don't hate the person that does it, but you hate the thing that's done. You're still hurting the person that does it when you, you know, get revenge or punishment or whatever. So, anyway... You know what, I think I'm going to save the game and end things off here. You know, maybe I will start to record again later, because right now my throat hurts. So, essentially, until next time, this has been the Indigo Experiment, and we are done here. See you guys next time.